Belinda, the Giants, we know what happened last time you played them. Um, and sorry to raise it again, but I will, um, because Luke McGarry told me to. <laughs> Flame Luke. <laughs> How, um, have you been thinking about it, been talking about it, that, that game this week in the preparation? Uh, look, we've absolutely parked the scoreboard um, issue um, well and truly back when it happened. I think, um, you know, we know um, the context, the importance of the context of this game and that, that's what we're walking towards. So, um, yeah, nothing about revenge, just um, we know that we need the win. I didn't mention revenge, you just did. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there an element to that? I'm not trying to trap you, but is there an element you'd really would like to make amends or atone for how that last one went down? Oh, look, it still cuts deep, that game. Obviously, we were disappointed the way that played out. Um, but, yeah, like, um, we know that we have to be at our best to beat uh, Giants, and that is exactly where we're walking towards that contest. And while we're on controversial stuff, have you been back to that hell ball at the end of the last game? And was it under three seconds or, or over in your review? Oh, look, it was under three seconds. And, um, yeah, again, we um, have spoken about it in our review and not just the call, but um, just getting the game on our terms earlier in matches so, you know, those types of things um, don't impact the result of the game. And that's fair enough. But have you contacted anybody about it to lodge a complaint or talk about it or raise it? Because you're getting a few raw deals this year. Oh, look, I think, um, you know, umpiring decisions, um, they can go for you, against you in matches, and, um, yeah, they're out of, outside of our control, so we, we're just looking at things that with, are within our control. You mentioned earlier this game's really important. Just explain why. Oh, look, in the whole context of the season, we know that we're sitting equal fourth with the Mavs and there's teams just one game below us in that um, scenario as well. And, um, look, uh, I think we've been in that predicament nearly um, most games lately, so we're used to the pressure. And, um, yeah, like I said, we've done our review on the, the past um, ga game against the Vixens and looking to make sure that we hit the contest hard this, uh, this week. Is, is that the main thing to come out of that, to because you started pretty well against the Vixens, it was just at the start of each, some of those second and third quarters or fourth quarter that you were a bit slow perhaps. Yeah, look, we've taken confidence in um, that we've won three out of the last five games. Um, I think the losses there are to um, the Fever um, and to the Vixens by small margins, so definitely attacking the contest early. And this could potentially be your last home game, depending if you make the finals or what position you finish in. Um, you'd be after a, a big effort here at home. Yeah, look, we um, love playing in um, front of our fans here at um, UniSC Arena and we're looking to go out um, in style and really celebrate the season with them. Um, and then we've got, yeah, the last three games on the road. So the importance of this win, um, we know how important that is. And Courtney Bruce is here today. Uh, does that mean she's starting? <laughs> Courtney would love me to say, yes, she's starting. Um, but, no, look, um, Courtney's rehab is going really well. We've been um, really happy with the way she's progressing in those minutes. Uh, she'll be available for more minutes again this week, which we're really pleased about. Um, we know she's such a um, big ball winner, um, and, yeah, we, we, we know that we have to win ball early against the Giants so we're not in a shootout at the end of the game. And, finally, no complacency with the Giants. You know, they're down towards the bottom of the ladder, but um, you wouldn't be taking them lightly. Oh, absolutely not. Giants have had a, a bit of an unfortunate slow start this season, but their last, um, you know, their last four or five matches have been really um, good. So we know that, yeah, we'll have to be at our best to beat them. Linda, you mentioned um, the controversy last time you versus the Giants. Sort of putting that aside, how do you think your game sort of evolved since then? Yeah, look, I think um, obviously um, when we played the Giants the last time, we were without Courtney, um, Mahalia and Ava. So we were missing quite a, a chunk of our defence line. So we take confidence that we've got all of those players back available for this match. Um, but I also think we've um, learned along the way about attacking the contest earlier and being a little bit more brave in our game plan. Also, just on that help ball from um, the last game, I know you said before that you didn't think it was um, the right call, but do you think it sort of changed? Oh, look, I think it was in the last minute. So, um, you know, uh, we thought we put ourselves in a winning position and we have been putting ourselves in winning positions. So, again, back to um, looking what happens earlier in the match to make sure that we're not in that predicament again this week. Just quickly, can I have a comment on you in regards to... Uh, I don't think Spots and Reese received the important award. Sorry, I missed that. On the donate 
this is recent award? Oh yeah, absolutely. So we had the Donate Life round, um, which um, was fantastic for us to um, raise awareness around organ and tissue donation. And I was to award a most courageous um, player at the end of that match. And I think the way that Liz Watson plays every game is so courageous. She puts her body on the line. Um, and she's just such um, a kind spirit as well, which is, is that of the organ donors as well. So she's got a good heart, but a fierce, fierce um, athletic mind. And I think um, she was well deserving of that award, that match. Um, Courtney, last home game of the season, Where's the season gone? It's, it's, it's gone in a blink. Oh, I know, it's flown by. This is why we need more rounds during the during the regular season. That would be great. But, um, yeah, excited to, to play here and have a, have a big crowd for our last home game. How have you found the season? You've had some injury, which wouldn't have been great for you over the last few weeks. But how's, how's your first season at the Lightning been? Yeah, it's been incredible. I've really enjoyed my time here so far um, and really loved building a combo with Ashley and Tara and just getting to know all the girls. Um, and yeah, very, very happy here on the sunny coast. So that's all that matters. You must have been doing something pretty good with Ash in the Diamonds team since you've been here. Um, you put that down to a bit of mentoring that you've done? Oh, no. Ash has been just playing great netball. I've just been here to help her in any way that I can. But um, she's going to be an incredible netballer for years to come. I'm very excited to see her in the in the Diamond squad and hopefully in the Diamond's dress this year. We heard from Belinda what her thoughts were for you for this game. What, what's your, in your mind, how much can you play? How much would you like to play? Oh, she can run me a full game in centre. I'll be, I'll be sweet. So, <laughs> no, um, you know, still up to the medical team to um, work out how many minutes I will be able to get out there for. But, yeah, available for both goalie and goalkeeper and wherever B wants to put me. And the Giants, what do you make of them? Some experience in Joe Harton. Yeah, always a good battle coming up against Joe. We've, we've had many over our time, but um, yeah, obviously they've got two shooting threats, or three shooting threats that can nail those two pointers. Um, so that's going to be a, a great defensive battle for us, but yeah, excited to come up against them. And is, in your mind, is, is there any thought of atonement after what happened in that last game or revenge or whatever it might be? Oh, honestly, we just want to go out there and keep pushing our position in the top four. So um, Giants one of those teams that we have to, to get over to get there. So um, regardless of what happened last round, we're just here to win and stay in the top four. Yeah, because the Mavericks are sort of nipping at your heels at level on percentages. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, you level on points. So important that you keep winning with only, what, four games left. Yeah, exactly. And we know this run home to finals is really important. So if we can get a win over the, the Giants and then the Mavs next week, that puts us in a good place for finals. You know, does it feel to be back? I mean, you've only played a couple of minutes um, so far, but yeah. how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Uh, a bit fatigued out there at times, but um, no, I'm really excited to be back out there and um, playing whatever role I can for the team. Um, and it's much better being in the dress on the bench than sitting in the sidelines, that's for sure. How is the injury feeling? Yeah, really, really good. Um, progressed a lot quicker than probably what we expected. Um, but, yeah, no, feeling good out there and managing more minutes every single training session. I've got one more. How's, how's the team progressed from the, you know, the start of the season um, to where you are now, heading into not far away from finals? How much improvement has there been? A new combinations coming along? Yeah, I think like you just got to look at Ash and Tara and then you throw me in there too. I think that defensive end has growing and I think we're just going to continue grow, growing leading into finals and I think we've just um, obviously we came together for that first round and we didn't have much time together necessarily um, but everyone spoke about our list but I think the way that we've built through to now um, has been great and I think yeah honestly just going to keep building come come those final series.